in our world, we are being presented with many problems. Albert Einstein gave great advice in this matter when he said problems cannot be solved by the level of knowledge or awareness that created them. In other words, we have to get outside our own boxes. Well, a mystic sees beyond a box to what has been hidden or what has been forgotten, what is not seen. My name is Sharon Raji Maynard. It was curiosity that took me on a radical search for answers. And those answers came to me from ancient ones, those in spiritual worlds unseen to the eye. And this knowledge foundations my podcast, A Mystic's View. Come as you are to see situations through my eyes as we sit together. Diversity, uniqueness, is a natural condition, a natural outcome within humanity. And hearing diverse ideas and thoughts expands our own capacities. So I encourage you to listen to a mystic's view to hear, to be enhanced, and to consider other possibilities. I welcome you to this journey. In this episode, I am sharing conversations that occurred, actually calls to action, that occurred within a monthly call held for the sacred ground collective community. This community has projects going on for the last year and a half, almost two years, to actively change mass consciousness, create foundations of good and benefit within that consciousness of the psyche of humanity, to guard and protect all that is appearing and emerging that will bring good and change, And we meet monthly. This was a review, but then call to action. Uh, So this is what's been going on for over a year. These are projects that have created pathways that that, that have energy with them already. So what does that mean when we look at the coronavirus? The thing that has been really touching my heart the last few days is the vulnerability of those who have not. I think most of us, if not all of us on the call, have. And we we have a way to be home, to be alone, to generate enough income, to live, to have the food. We're, We're in pretty darn good shape and we're talking about let's do meditation do your private retreat take a little walk grow your food i mean we're talking about things that people in our country and other countries can't can't even fathom what does that mean to us in this group in my work i have been very clear always that we are in this together and this meaning identifying patterns that are divine that help us to expand in good, identifying patterns that are destroying us. To me, that's what it's about. Not just for me personally, but for my family, for my country and the world. It's my job because I have, I am comfortable. I have had experience of hermiting already for a while. I do well. I am on the spectrum that says I have, I'm comfortable, and I could say, thank you, God, there but for the grace of. No, we are in this together. And over here, I have a sister in India who has been living with what she can produce in one day and sell in order to feed her family that night. And she's told to stay home. She can't work from home. What do I do? It has been my concept that we are here to either experience the patterns directly or indirectly. I am experiencing patterns in our consciousness of good, benefit, togetherness, love. I'm experiencing that directly. She's experiencing the patterns of domination, greed, take, diminish directly. 
I am in a, sp- a place where I can work with those in beings in spirit is what we're doing in our projects. To say, I recognize that there are patterns in the greater psyche that are destroying people. Because I can see it over here. And I'm going to call for an end of such patterns in the psyche and say, no more. And I'll do it through time travel. I'll do it through guardian circles. And I am going to then cocoon every single one of my sisters and brothers who willingly, I think, say, I'll be the, I'll be the one who, who takes the hit so that you, in your comfort, can see it and pull the seed. We have an obligation not to just make it through this week, next week, and this month. We have an obligation that as we sit in our comfort with the internet, with no that we know, saying, not acceptable here, not acceptable here. I am strong, and I can stay strong. I have a network of women who help me stay strong, and together, I am going to say, not in my world those who are showing me the patterns are manifesting that says there's patterns that's destroying our body of humanity. So I'm suggesting that we consider in whatever way you do, we can surround every human being on this planet. They are a cell in our body. Every cell in my body of humanity is cocooned in a guardian circle. And you already know that what that means. I've, I've explained it to you and I'll explain it to you again offline anytime. Every cell in the body of humanity, I claim, surrounded in a guardian circle. I get the message they do not have to continue escalating the problem. I get it. End the problem. I'm going to go and do whatever I am directed to do. Where, what is it I personally need to do to pull the pattern? Is it in me? Do, do I want to time travel? Do I, and then I, I, I will do it. Guardian Circle's commitment is at five minutes every day. That energy is, is energized. You don't have to get together on a call. You do it in the privacy of your own room. There is no more powerful thing we can do during this time than use our spiritual tools to hammer, 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 hammer the destructive energies that are doing this. Let them do it. And then hold the pillar of what we are saying we are realigning to. That's that's the crystal broadcasters. So when you leave this call, if you know nothing more than say, I am holding every cell in the body of humanity in a guardian circle. And five minutes a day, you focus. There's the body of humanity, and all those cells are literally surrounded with light from the guardian circles. I am committed to eliminating the energy of the consciousness of greed and control. And and we, I would, you know, that's the concept of the time travelers. And so see the puff, those the puff of energy that's coming off of those who are suffering. Bring in the time travel energy to say, wherever it's coming from, gather it up, dissipate, dissipate, dissipate. Because I'm holding the pillar that this world reflects our divine nature, all aspects of good, with zero tolerance for domination, parasitic disease.
we might have another month in our well-ordered life to be sequestered. My suggestion is that we really amp it up for that month. In whatever way you do, make yourself available. Someone has been saying, hey, our network is going to go down for three days. Hey, great. Talk to the trees. Let the trees, let the plants, let the air, let the clouds, let the water be our connections and listen to them. We will not lose contact with one another. I thank all of you for what you've been doing, creating this model that we can use and expand with through this time. It is not an accident. This was not minor. And I think we're needed for this time. I think we know we stand in greatness here. I want you to know you are, you are the greatness. We came to do this you in whatever it is you're called to do. But in this moment, in this call, my invitation is in what we're doing in this community. And and I honor you and those who are in the unseen. More, more immense, more immense groups than we can comprehend, really, so. Many blessings. Go out and make the world true to who we are. Thanks for coming along on this episode. These various sharings may stretch your mind, challenge your dogma, awaken new possibilities, and or even resonate with your own experiences. I'd love to hear any of that. And you can find me on Facebook under A Mystic's View, And the same, YouTube, A Mystic's View. When you see the value of this podcast, please share it with your friends. A Mystic's View is also on Patreon, where those who want to support and be a part of this growing community can participate. That would be at www.patreon.com forward slash A Mystic's View. The pressures of this world is rising, and what does that mean? How can you respond? My intention is is that through this podcast, you will gain more insight, encouragement to discover yourself. Until next time, blessings. Blessings.